this looks like garbage, and I'm finna tell you why. Well, it's time again to risk my neck with some hot takes, especially when it comes to Silent Hill 2. So, uh, stick around for my impending doom, I guess. Hot damn, that Silent Hill transmission was packed with some interesting announcements. Granted, they were kind of this year's worst kept secret in gaming. If anything, the biggest surprise here is that not one single Silent Hill leak was true, because they were all fucking true, which makes sense in hindsight, but none of that matters now, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna come out the gate with the one that stole the show from me, Silent Hill F. I loved everything about this first trailer, regardless of it having no gameplay. The tone and concepts shown here were just beautifully horrific, if that makes sense. And being set in 1960s Japan intrigues me to no end. But there's some backlash going around. People upset that there's a Silent Hill game not taking place in the town of Silent Hill. Well, I don't exactly see that as a problem. The SH series had started placing less emphasis on the town fairly early on. It takes a while for Heather to get there in SH3. SH4, which I haven't played myself yet, seems to be set in a place called Ashfield, and SH Homecoming is largely set in a neighboring town called Shepherd's Glen, so that doesn't really surprise me. Besides that, we know supernatural disasters are possible in the universe these games take place in. I'm not bothered about a side story showing us what another such event would look like, you know? As long as it doesn't contradict any pre-established lore, or somehow force existing characters into it. It's fine with me. And for crying out loud, no pyramid head. Silent Hill Ascension sounds odd. Interesting, maybe. They describe it so vaguely. A streaming series where the viewers guide the main characters and shape the continuity of the franchise. The fuck you on about? Hell, they even claim the choices viewers make can't be reversed, so how exactly is this thing being distributed? See? Vague as hell. We do know some of the companies behind this, and uh, I ain't getting my hopes up. Behavior is known for Dead by Daylight, and Dead by Daylight is known for its incredible jankiness and lack of polish, even years post-launch. It just happens to be really fun, too, and has a lot of crossovers that keep reeling players in. But then there's Bad Robot, J.J. Abrams' production company. If you don't know who J.J. Abrams is, then... Uh, oh boy, I'm not getting into all that. Let's say I'm not a fan. Don't think I've liked any of his movies since Super 8, which was okay, but even then had to borrow heavily from Steven Spielberg's style for that enjoyability factor. So we'll see, I guess. There's even less to go on for Silent Hill Townfall, other than its awkward name. No Code Studios are the devs, who I'm mostly unfamiliar with, though they did make stories untold, a nostalgic sort of game inspired by the 80s. It's not exactly heavy on gameplay and didn't offer much replayability, but it does somehow end up being a memorable experience. And let's hope that most important aspect carries through to Ascension. Let's really, really hope. Mary? Yeah, this is the one I'm really going to catch flack for. So, Bloober Team, the devs behind Layers of Fear and Medium, are indeed being trusted to handle the Silent Hills Hue remake. And you know what? Good for them. However, I've been a little surprised by just how... eh... I feel about it. Of course, we don't know what state of development it's in, and what we were shown mostly didn't seem to be in-game footage. More of a sampling of what to expect, maybe. To me, though, the art style looked off, somehow. As if the town were realistic, but the characters, James especially, were oddly stylized. I don't know, something didn't gel. But that also could come down to the fact that I'm just not a big fan of SH2 in general. I've always been more of a 1 in 3 guy, preferring the stories of Harry and Heather Mason, I guess. By the time I'd gotten my hands on an Xbox copy of SH2, the internet had already spoiled the story to hell and back for me. And honestly... The early parts of the game, that damned apartment especially, just feel so dull to me. I've never been able to bring myself to finish the game. Do I appreciate the story it tells? Sure. The game itself just never clicked with me though. But finally, that brings me to... Return to Silent Hill. Man, do I love that title. Has an old school sound to it, but also holds meaning not just to viewers, but to Christoph Gans as well. He directed the first SH movie, and... 
while it was divisive, I mostly enjoyed it. Mostly. Sure, I have some problems with it, but I've always appreciated the tone and the way the movie didn't shy away from dark themes to chase a more general audience. Honestly, I'm looking forward to this. It seems to be a rather direct adaptation of Silent Hill 2 based on the storyboards we were shown, which seems smart thanks to the way SH Revelation 3D completely shit the bed for the plot and characters of the first movie. It's worrying that Gans also emphasized how he still wants it to be very surprising for fans of the games, but hey, I'll give it a chance. It's literally impossible for it to be worse than Revelation 3D, so eh, at least there's that. And yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Konami's Silent Hill transmission was a mixed bag, but hell, when's the last time Silent Hill fans had anything to be excited about? Now, let's just hope the majority of these don't get lost in development hell or outright cancelled. I'm baffled, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot about my coming soon teaser. This looks like garbage, and I'm fin to tell you why. There, the prophecy has been fulfilled.